Hi. Do you find yourself struggling with a nest of if blocks to determine what the value of a variable on a blueprint is? To figure out what an option is, do you find yourself doing string comparison? Well, if that's the case, I have just the thing for you today, and that is an enum. Sorry for the cheesy intro. Couldn't help it. Had to do that. Um, but, yeah, sometimes you have uh, a variable that you're going to set um, to something that's a predetermined option, you know, you could be on fire, or you could be freezing, or maybe you're swimming or flying, whatever it is, you have this predetermined set of options, and it's going to be one of those, and then you find yourself checking, if it's this, then do this, and if not, then check the next one, and if it's that, then do that, and if it's not, check the next one, and before long you end up with this big snarled mess of ifs that have multiple uh, conditions and you can really get yourself into a mess and luckily there's something that's built just for that and that's an enum um, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about how to do enums today uh, two main things I'm going to talk about how to uh, randomly assign something to an enum and how to use a switch with an enum so let's go ahead and start ours it's in the blueprint section here it's just called an, enum an enumeration and uh, I'll go ahead and click it we'll call this a uh, player status, uh, because what I'm going to use as an example is three states. You could be, maybe you're winning the game, and that's a status the player could have. That's good. You know what you're doing. Uh, you could be losing, in which case it sucks to suck. Not loser. We'll go ahead and say losing. That's a little bit nicer. Oh, or you could just be playing. Maybe you need to catch up. You're not, you're not doing too hot, but you're not losing. You're not that guy. <coughs> so... We've got our three states, and uh, I'm going to hop in here, and we're going to go ahead and add uh, player status as a variable here, and we can just add it as the type, player status. I know there's a player state that's uh, built into Unreal, but for the sake of this, we'll just go ahead and do player status. Uh, and uh, the first thing I want to do is, and I'll go ahead and use event tick. Uh, although I don't recommend using that too much if you can possibly help it, but for just to have a node to pull off of here, we're going to go ahead and pull off a switch node. I'm going to switch on player status. Enter. And look at that. You don't have to use if blocks because it has an execution node for every option that's in there. And those are the three options we put in there. That's not something that, that is part of the, this node. That's the three that we put in there. Uh, and I went ahead and set up functions here just to correspond with them so you can see, you know, to keep it clean and stuff. They're empty. Uh, winning. And you can say, well, if you're losing, then you do the losing function. Maybe it plays a, a laughter sound. It's laughing. The game's going to laugh at the, the loser. Something like that. I don't know. It's not very nice. Uh, playing. We'll just say you're still playing. So it's doing whatever. And there you go. you got your three options and you're switching between. Um, and let's say that when you start, uh, you want to randomly assign a the player status. I don't know why you want to do that. This makes more sense if it's like an item spawn or something like that. And when it begins, it yeah, it sets the item to a you know a random type. But uh, it's really easy to do that because what you can do is you can get the number of entries in player status. So this is going to be in our case three. And what you can do is random integer in a range. So we want a range. We want to say okay, we want something that's between basically 0 and 2, because 2 is the highest index. Um, so we'll start with 0, and we need to go up to 2. This is going to give us a number, which is actually 3. Uh, so we're going to have to decrement it by 1. So minus. This is the perfect time for the obligatory programmer joke about off by 1 errors. So think that in your head. And so now we have our range. It's going to go 0, 1, and 2, because 3 is our length minus 1. And we'll go ahead and we're going to set this at the beginning. And we don't want to set it always to winning. We want to set this to something random. This random integer in range. Now, there's a little bit of a weirdness here. I don't know why you can't just use an integer and say, like, okay, 0, 1, 3. It actually needs to be cast to a byte. Because that's the, I guess, enums are byte arrays or something like that. I don't know. But once you cast it to a byte, you can do this. And that's going to now this at event begin play, it's going to set your status randomly to either winning, losing, or player. I, I meant playing. I didn't mean player. You are a player. That is true. But So we can edit that. Uh, and 
What's really cool is, along with editing this, let's say I realized, oh, right, you can also be eliminated, in which case you're not playing, and you're, you're not losing now. I mean, maybe you were losing, but now you're just entirely eliminated. And there's a new loser. Let's say it's like the last player in the race is eliminated every lap, but you can have a loser for that lap. Okay. Now you come in, and you see it's added a node for us. I don't have to add any if blocks or anything like that. I've already set up an empty function here, so let's go ahead and do that. And we'll just do this. Ooh, all right, done with that. Nice and clean. And I don't need to do anything to this, because now the number is increased. We have four entries. Minus one is three, so zero, one, two, three. And we'll set it at the beginning to that. So, and I can, I can prove this out a little bit, too. Um, we'll go ahead and play. Pause. And then I can grab, there should be at least one thing doer. Resume. Huh. Save. Stop. Compile. Play. No? Is there anything to it? Do I need to put one out? Oh, I don't even have one out. There we go. So now I should have at least one thing doer out there. It doesn't work to debug if, uh, yeah, there we go. Thing doer. Play. So now, if we pause, we can look at the status, which should be... Oh, and by the way, sorry, you don't want to switch. That's foolish. This is just always going through the winning node. You want to be switching on player status. So let's compile, play, pause. And if I look at this, the current value is playing. Okay, stop. Okay, compile. I don't need to compile every time, but it's a tick. Nervous tick. Eliminated. Stop. Play. Winning. We'll probably get a duplicate here. Winning, yeah. That's just a good guess. It's random. Playing. Losing. Yeah, that's all of them. So it's yeah, it's random randomly setting them. So this is a really easy way to keep track of a set of options. And it, you don't have to worry about what number they are or anything like that because they're named. You know what winning means. You want to do the winning thing. You know what losing means. You want to do the losing function. So I hope this was helpful. If uh, you found this helpful, feel free to like and subscribe. Um, if not, feel free to comment. Let me know this was not helpful. Um, let me know what I can do better. If you have a question, feel free to ask it, and I'll try and uh, put a video up for it if it's something that fits the video format. Otherwise, I'll try and answer in the comments. Um, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this, and have a great day. Thanks.